Hey everyone, so in today's video, one of my subscribers who works at Bobbi Brown let me know about this and I was super excited to try this. This is the Crushed Oil Infused Lip Glosses. If you're new to my channel, I really, really like the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lipsticks. Those are such a gorgeous formula and the whole Crushed lip color line is really great if you want more of a sheer sort of lip product that works for every day and they end up kind of looking like a stain on the lips which is why i've always really liked them so i was interested in seeing how bobby brown would come out with a lip gloss formula kind of in the same vein as those lip products these come in 12 different shades and they retail for 27 dollars um definitely in line with all of bobby brown's pricings again it's a little bit more expensive you get 0.2 ounces in here and Personally, I have the shade Force of Nature, the one I'm wearing on my lips today, and I really, really like this shade because it's a pretty close match to my lip color. It can be difficult for me to find a nude lip color that isn't too pink or especially like too peachy. Bobbi Brown says that this is an ultra hydrating and very smooth lip gloss that is infused with oils to kind of give it that hydrating element. And again, the shades go from more on the sheer side to a little bit more on the bold side. Now, I did experience, and I'll throw up some swatches now since I swatched all the colors out of my hand, I did notice that the more bright shades had a little bit more pigment, which is really good news for those of you with um, a deeper lip color. I do feel like you will be able to find a shade that will show up and give you that really sheer, pretty look to your lips. As for the packaging, very much in line with all of Bobbi Brown's packaging. Very sleek and it has a paddle applicator. So if you like a doe foot that's more in a straight paddle shape, I think you'll really like this one. And this one does have a slight curve to the top of it, which I do like. I don't like a paddle applicator that's too, too angular. So let's talk about the texture, the way it applies to the lips and all that good stuff. So I think one thing that's really interesting about this formula is that it's definitely on the thinner side. I think right now a uh, plenty of lip glosses are coming out that are a little bit heftier and a little bit thicker and a lot of brands have managed to create a thicker lip gloss without it being sticky and just the competition for lip glosses in general is really intense right now but in a good way you know we're able to find the best of the best this formula isn't necessarily as um heavy the way some other lip glosses are right now it's somewhere um from the like middle to a little bit on the thinner side if you do have any experience with wearing a lip oil they do have like a slightly thinner texture to them but this still has like the slight tackiness of a lip gloss now it's not sticky whatsoever but it's still reminiscent of a lip gloss it doesn't necessarily just feel like a very thin lightweight lip oil which I personally think is important when coming out with a lip gloss you want something that's gonna last a little bit longer on the lips and lip oils tend to not really offer a long-term shine to the lips so I'm glad that they went that route so like I was saying before lip oils tend to be a little bit drier for you know lack of a better word and lip glosses tend to be a little bit wetter this this is absolutely somewhere in the middle. It's very lightweight on the lips. You kind of forget that you have it on, which is really nice. And again, this color is really something special and I'm so glad that I picked this one. It really just flatters my natural lips and ends up making them look like they're kind of bare but have just a little bit of shine. It applies very easily on the lips. Again, you're not gonna get any stickiness or tackiness from this. I do wish that this filled in the lines of my lips a little bit more. Now that's something that a lip oil doesn't do, but a lip gloss does do. Sometimes, you know, if you have a really nice lip gloss formula, um, I like that about that. So this doesn't really fill in any of the lip lines on my lips. It just kind of gives them a shine. And I think one of the reasons this doesn't have as much shine as other lip glosses, the incorporation of the oils in this lip product does make it so the shine isn't quite as long wearing as some other lip glosses and isn't quite as shiny, 
but I don't think that that is necessarily a bad thing. I think part of the reason why this doesn't fill in the lip lines on my lips is because it's somewhere in between a lip oil and a lip gloss. As for how shiny it is, I think it's somewhere in the middle to the more modest shine. When you first apply it, it has that really pretty shine that I think a lot of you that tend to go for a lip gloss on an everyday basis will really like, but it fades to something more like this. I've been talking and filming for around 20 minutes and it kind of just looks like a very natural slightly shiny and sheer lip color it's not necessarily going to give you a lot of long-term shine and i think that that's probably in part due to the more lip oil nature of this product i also understand that the way that this formula was created there are a lot less of the emollient um, thickeners and emulsifiers that a lot of other lip glosses have but a product like this also is going to be a little bit more nourishing than a classic lip gloss. So it's definitely a give and take with the formula. As for the pigmentation, this is a more sheer product. So um, I can keep reapplying and I will get and I will get a little bit more color, but this is definitely not going to be a full opacity lip gloss. And honestly, I would not like it if it was. I way prefer my lip glosses to be sheer and natural the way this is. I think you will really appreciate this product if you don't typically like a very, very shiny lip gloss. Now, some of us don't. If you prefer a little bit more of a modest shine, you want some color to your lips, but you also want it to be very comfortable, this to me is like really pretty for natural days, for work makeup. Again, if you just want to kind of accentuate um, your features and give your lips a little bit of color and shine, I think that this is a really awesome option. I don't think I was expecting anything different from Bobbi Brown, to be honest. This is very natural, very pretty makeup. But I do find that I am looking for something like just a little bit more with the formula. Now, I don't think the formula is necessarily like transformative by any means, but I can appreciate it. And I feel like this is a lip gloss for those of you that want to feel and look like they're not trying. But if I feel like I want a little bit more volume to my lips for them to look a little bit extra pouty, this isn't the lip gloss I would go for. Let me know down below how you thought this looks. Are you guys interested in any other lip products coming out that you'd like me to review? Definitely let me know. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe if you thought this was like a detailed, really helpful review. And I will hopefully see you in my next one.